My name is Renee Salas, and I'm an emergency medicine physician and climate change and health researcher in Boston, Massachusetts, in the United States. This pandemic has shown us that when we ignore the science and fail to act, that people get harmed and die. When a patient is sick, I can't take that one illness in isolation. I always have to think about everything else that's going on within the body. And the same is true for climate change because so many of the other challenges that are facing our society today are interconnected and intertwined. But that also means that the solutions and the opportunities are also intertwined. Climate change is also causing pollen levels to be higher. And this is especially concerning for patients with underlying lung diseases like asthma. There was a four-year-old girl that I saw on an overnight shift. It was her third visit that week for an asthma attack, and she was struggling to breathe as we gave her breathing treatments to try to open up her lung passages. Her mother, understandably, was extremely concerned and felt helpless about how she could help protect her daughter. And so I sat and talked to them about how climate change was increasing pollen levels, which was a key factor in why her daughter was struggling to keep her disease under control. The mother felt empowered by knowing ways in which that she could limit her daughter's exposure to pollen, but also how she could get to the root cause of climate change in order to stop the downstream pathways that were harming her daughter. So many of my patients I feel like I'm putting a Band-Aid on a bullet wound because I can try to stabilize their diseases, but then I send them back out into the world where they are continually exposed to the ways in which climate change is harming their health. We have to get to the root cause of the problem. 